Are you willing to get a ride from a driverless car? Waymo is sure hoping you will, and it's sharing new research on its safety record of its driverless cars here in the Bay Area, as well as Los Angeles and Phoenix. Waymo is trying to distinguish itself from its main competitor, which remains under two separate government investigations over safety. Senior investigative reporter Bagad Shaban explains. Driverless cars may not require your hands on the wheel to get around, but they do need your trust in the technology. Traffic troubles involving self-driving cars have left some skeptical, even injured. There's a lot of um, uh, people that have emotions about it and, and are, are, are judging us on, on the sideline. Trent Victor had safety research for Waymo, a sister company to Google, that's currently operating self-driving fleets in San Francisco, Phoenix, and Los Angeles. Waymo's driverless cars have logged more than 7 million miles on public roadways over the past four years. And now Waymo is releasing new research about its safety record. After analyzing its own crash data against humans, Waymo found its driverless cars, compared to San Francisco drivers, were three times less likely to be involved in any kind of crash reported to police and nine times less likely to be involved in a crash with some type of injury. That means had humans been at the wheel, San Francisco would have had nine more crashes involving injuries, according to Waymo's estimates. We really are trying to be transparent. But Waymo won't say exactly how many driverless cars it has on the road. In August, it told regulators its San Francisco fleet totaled 250 vehicles. Waymo says it's since expanded. By how much, we don't know. Meanwhile, Waymo tells us trying to accurately compare its driverless cars to humans is difficult, since its cars don't operate in all the same places humans do. Waymo's vehicles don't drive on highways or in severe weather, like thick fog or heavy rain. Plus, humans don't always report crashes, so Waymo had to factor for that too. The company recently submitted its data to a scientific journal for review in hopes of having independent researchers confirm the findings. At the end of the day, do you believe these cars are safer than human drivers? Yes, these vehicles are definitely safer than human drivers in the areas we operate. That's exactly what we're showing. It's a bold announcement, but not one traffic safety expert, Carol Flanagan, is ready to make. I'm not prepared to say yes definitively to that statement. I just don't think there's enough miles. Remember, Waymo's driverless fleet has logged more than 7 million miles since they first hit the road. But humans drive more than 3 trillion miles every year. The reason we care about how many miles there are is because the bad stuff that happens requires just a lot more miles. Flanagan is a research professor at the University of Michigan Transportation Research Institute. Waymo asked her to review its new data before officially submitting it to a scientific journal. I think I can sign on to this is the best evidence that they're getting into fewer crashes. So after examining Waymo's findings, it sounds like while you think this shows a lot of promise, we're still not at the point where we can make sort of broad claims that driverless cars are in fact safer than human drivers. I think that's a fair, a fair characterization, yes. As Waymo hopes to win over more riders, its main competitor, GM's Cruise, remains off the road as it attempts to navigate recent layoffs and two separate government probes investigating safety issues. Cruz saying it's focused on rebuilding trust and operating with the highest standards when it comes to safety, integrity, and accountability. We want to be judged on our own merits. We want people to see the work that we've been doing and, and our performance. And uh, it, it is, of course, you know, like anyone or any sports team, you know, there is a big difference between uh, sports teams. You don't want to judge the whole league as, as, as the same, right? With the investigative unit, I'm Begat Chuban. Now, if you have a story for Begat or anyone in the investigative unit, you can call 888-996-TIPS or visit our website, nbcbarry.com slash investigations.